Hi everyone, how are we all doing? Join me as I make delicious abacha. Stay tuned. Firstly, I start off with prepping the abacha by pouring hot water into it and sieving it immediately. I did not allow it to get soft. I just poured hot water and sieved it and set it aside. Then I put a clean pot in the stove, add palm oil to it and I allow it to get hot a bit before I go in with ogili, the fermented locust beans, the fresh one, I go in with it, I just toast it in the oil a little bit, then I will go in with other ingredients such as crayfish and pepper. I will stir this ogili a little bit. Once it melts into this oil, I will lower the heat and add crayfish and pepper seasoning cubes to this oil and off the heat. So I just added the pepper and the crayfish to this. This pepper was roasted, likewise the crayfish. It was roasted a little before I grinded it. So I thought I needed a little bit more palm oil. I added it into this and allowed it to melt. And once it's done, I will introduce the abacha into this oil and keep on stirring. So at this point, the light is off. I've turned off the heat, so I'll mix all up together. I'll make sure that all of them incorporate together. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm mixing up the abacha together, guys. This is so tasty. If you try this method, it's making your abacha. You will enjoy it, believe me. So you mix it up all together. Give it a good stir so that all the abacha will mix with the oil. So guys, at this point, the abacha has mixed up properly. As you can see, everything is turning out the way it should be, guys. So I'll have to on the heat again just to make it warm. So I'm on the heat, I will keep on mixing just to make everything to come together. Guys, this method of making abacha is banger. You need to try this. This is delicious and easy to make. As you can see guys, everything is coming together. Guys, try this recipe and thank me. Like and follow us guys. Thank you and have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the video.